Sup everybody, this is Scruffy Lynx and Dorian, and welcome to another episode of The Night Shift. I'd like to apologize, we haven't posted in over a month. I've been busy with final exams and moving to a whole entire different city. And Scruffy Lynx finally just got a computer that can, he can work to make his own videos, so... Finally, yeah! Although, I gotta admit, I'm less likely to make videos because I'm pretty busy myself and, you know... Yeah, you're gonna start college soon, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I gotta pick a new class, too. I do college online, though, so... Yeah. A lot of people have been doing a lot of college online thanks to this whole COVID shit. Yep, yep. Yeah. But, Scruffy Lynx, what are we talking about tonight? Tonight, we are talking about liminal spaces, and of course, the most famous liminal space of them all, the backrooms. Yes, and didn't the backrooms originate on Creepypasta? Uh, it actually originated from 4chan. Oh, okay, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, you see, the most famous liminal space of this day has to go to the backrooms. A Creepypasta originated from 4chan on April 21st, 2018. This tells us of a pocket dimension of some sort that is only accessible through no clipping through reality. So, and what is clipping? No clipping through reality is basically like walking through solid matter and clipping through it. It's kind of like a video game glitch or like um a graphics or programming error where something that is supposed to be a solid entity is the the entity or the controlled entity itself is capable of phasing through it because of poor programming and all that. So basically it's just, you know, phasing through solid matter when you're not supposed to phase through solid matter. And you can clip from one back room to another back room. Yeah. Okay. So this pocket dimension is of course called the back rooms and the back rooms is known to possess numerous levels the most famous of which is Level Zero, an infinite labyrinth of empty 1980s to 1990s office spaces possessing buzzing fluorescent lights and dank-ass moldy carpeting. Yeah, and you said a lot of um, liminal spaces or background spaces can be abandoned buildings too. Yeah. Which we're going to show some photos of abandoned buildings in this for the liminal spaces uh aura but all these photos are mine if you want to follow and see more photos like these i'll put my instagram and tiktok account uh, names at the end of the video but anyways go ahead so dorian do you know that we're actually in a liminal space right now i did not know that yeah Basically, a liminal space is a location, primarily artificial and constructed, which is the transition between two other locations or states of being. They are well known to be locations that you would see as a background or some form of vague scenery. These locations are known to primarily be empty and desolate places like abandoned buildings, empty office spaces, uh, renovated out um, areas like empty apartment units and so on. These locations are known to evoke emotions of fear, otherworldliness, nostalgia, amnimoia, and sometimes desiderium. Okay. Creepy. And what is the difference between a, a back room and liminal spaces? There's a slight difference. One has a creature and it is following you in the darkness of the corners and one's not, right? Basically, the back rooms, the difference between uh, regular liminal spaces and the back rooms is that the back rooms is, of course, a pocket dimension. It's a, it's a forum or a story basically relating to, like, a lore that there is this otherworldly dimension filled with empty office spaces and liminal spaces, but these possess sort of, like, a very supernatural-esque um, flavor to them where, yeah, there are, like, entities and creatures that are uh, stalking you and listening to you, and there are, like, numerous different levels where... The most famous one, of course, is the uh, 
1980s, 1990s dank ass office spaces, while the other one, uh, the other ones are like you know, empty parking garages, a, a series of empty parking garages. The other one is like a, a very old vintage looking hotel, and it's just a big pocket dimension of you know, 1920s to 1930s uh, hotel space. And like you said, these all started on 4chan, but became popular on Creepypasta. And Creepypasta is meant for scary stories and stuff. So what makes these two things so scary? Well, the thing, the thing about liminal spaces is how it evokes fear is like, you ever get this feeling that you're being watched? That, yeah. Yeah, that basically you are alone, but not really. There, this feeling of basically a being in a other world that is so familiar yet so alien to you at the same time. The fear of the unknown amalgamated with the fear of feeling alone yet not being alone. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Well, I gotta say that uh, even though, you know, we're... Uh, we're trying to dumb down our uh, cussing. Oh, yeah. 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 Dorian uh, wants to be more professional about it, and he hears your comments. And me, I understand as well, but I also got to say, we're the rust punks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. cuss and swear all the time. What part of punks don't you understand? <laughs> all right, all right. All right. And we should have some more Urbex scene and Supernatural Skeptic shows coming up soon, so. Is that it? Yep. Alright, you guys have a good night. Peace. Bye. Bye.